Tales from Tetheria! Episode 2, Flames and Foes. Previously on Tales from Tetheria, Kaizen and Krulax decided to be bounty hunters, so they joined up with Falamir. On the way to their first job, they reunited with Debra, who's alive somehow. And while fighting a necromancer, Debra has decided to set everything on fire. Uh, okay, you're all caught up. And I want to light all the coffins on fire. Great. <laughs> what? <laughs> so we'll put you in the front here. Fucking wild card. <laughs> and, um, Remember, if anyone asks, it was the necromancer that did that, not so the little So burning hands rock. is uh, a 15-foot cone of burning. Go ahead and roll me some damage. Is that a 20? Uh, no, so so Burning Hands is a saving well, throw, but these are inanimate objects, so they don't make a saving throw. You hold your hands up with your thumbs touching and your fingers spread. A thin sheet of flames shoots forth in a 15-foot cone. The boxes have to make a dexterity saving throw. They fail it. <laughs> <clears throat> the creature takes 3d6 fire damage on a failed save. The fire ignites any flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. That includes... The coffins. About half of these coffins are old, dry, rotting wood. They catch like tinder. And so the front of the hill is aflame. Isn't uh, isn't uh, Kaizen on the coffin? Oh, yeah. Kaizen's up there. Oh, God. I'm Kaizen's, up there. It's, it's Kaizen, fine. You, know? you, are, you are up next to Batu, <laughs> who is wearing cult, cult fanatic robes and has an angry look in their eyes. Um... And you have uh, an attack, if you wish. Uh, yes, I, I I believe I can attack. I, I want to just um, uh, render him motionless. Sweep the leg, John. I mean, yeah, yeah, sweep yeah. the leg. These are non-lethal attacks. <laughs> do, do do I know any like you know like Ty Lee stuff where he can just kind of like flop into not being able to move? You know what are they called? I don't uh, uh, think you know that at this point. However, there are monk skills in the future that let you do that. <laughs> I like to think that I, I'm just pretending like I know where pressure points are. Right. That is something that you can learn in the future, but right now you do not have that uh, detail. Okay, yeah. yeah, I just want to strike him at the knees. Great. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Okay, mm. with, my, with my bonus, I have um, rolled a nine. Ooh, nine is not going to cut it as mm -mm. as Batu goes, what are you, stop, stop it, ankle biter. What are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> uh, at this point, uh, flame erupts behind you as the coffins that you're standing on, a lot of them catch fire. Everyone roll for initiative at this point. Okay. And I'm going to roll does. my initiative for Batu, and then I'm going to roll my initiative for Quacha. I got a 10. Got a 14. Right. Uh, who got 20 or higher? 20 to 15. Uh, uh, 17. No. 14 plus one. 14. 10. Okay, cool. That's everybody then. Up first is gonna be Falamir. Falamar. Falamar? Uh, did, so, uh, Fal Falamir. <clears throat> Falamir. Uh, and um, when the cauldron fell over, did yes. it do anything specific? Uh, I like. I know that the cauldron kind of fell in the fire. Did uh, did it seem like I disrupted any plans? Did I do anything that was uh, very effective? It looks like it has disrupted plans. Um, he's not pleased that it's tipped over, uh, but it is not emptied out yet. I would like to make a pinning shot. So by pinning shot, it's not actually an ability that I have. Uh, he's wearing robes. There seems to be wood around him. I would like to sure. uh, take a shot uh, to try to pin his robe to uh, some of the coffins. Fabulous. Go ahead and make a, make a roll. All right. Rolling D20 my roll. D20. Uh, I have rolled a 15 plus my wow. 7 attack is a 22. Yep, set. 22 is going to hit. Damn, you're rolling well. Uh, nice. May that not disappear during our fights. You, and you're not trying to do any damage. You're just trying to no pin damage. him to the floor. Cool. Uh, I will yeah. say that his movement is zero, unless he spends an action to try to get away. Uh, and then I was like, wait a second, I have pinned him to the coffins. Why did you set the entire mountain on fire, you little rock monster? Come on! 
Yeah, Deborah, that, that might have been a bit preemptive there. Uh, everything's on fire now. Speak of speak of the rock monster, it's your turn. Is, uh, am I within, where's the cauldron uh, compared to me? Is it close? So you, you, the cauldron is directly in front of Batu. Um, I would say it's 25 feet from, uh, 30 feet from you, um, but it's up. And there's still some left. I want to use my 25 feet of movement, and I want to get as close as I can to the cauldron uh, without burning up myself. And I would like to take my mage hand, which has a 15 foot range, put my mage hand into the cauldron. I want to take a little, little handful, you know, of whatever liquid it is, and I want to bring it back yep. in my mouth, and I want to drink some of it. Okay. <laughs> Sounds great. So, 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 you're gonna get to do all that. Here are your choices with your movement. You can you can either walk through the fire and get within five feet of the cauldron, or you can walk around your own fire and get within 20 feet of the cauldron. I gotta walk through it because my hand only goes 15 feet. Fabulous. So you're gonna take uh, some amount of damage here. You're gonna take three fire damage as you walk through your own fire. You get up to the cauldron. Uh, your mage hand, and you're using mage hand as your action to uh, to scoop, and then you're gonna drink. Great, you have done that. Um, it tastes mostly like absinthe and right. something else. There's like some gross garbage in it, but it's kind of absinthe. -y. Has the absinthe been activated by any chance? <laughs> so it does not look like it's magical yet. Oh yeah, um, I probably should have looked at it. Well, also keep in mind that the gallbladder was not dropped in yet. Kaizen, it's your turn. Uh, I believe I'm still up there. Um, you are. And, okay, um, am I close you enough? You also have an on fire rock gnome next to you. Not on fire, have... but a slightly crispy. <laughs> slightly More like crispy. an ember. Let's see, how close am I to uh, uh, Batu's assistant? You are next to Batu's assistant, as well as next to Batu. Okay, well, you know, I don't, I don't have any special magical abilities, but I can use my flurry of blows. I want to hit uh, the assistant in the face. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, you look at the assistant. Uh, the assistant appears to be a grung. Um, mm. They are a frog person. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> they are a, a bright red with big black eyes. And they look at you and they go, don't hit me. Arr! <laughs> like yeah, Kermit. no. I want to. I want to just bludgeon, the, bludgeon this uh, okay. this assistant in the eyeballs. Yeah. Go ahead, make a make an attack roll. In the <laughs> eyeballs, uh, and then plus what for my attack? I think it's plus six for your attack. Plus six, so I rolled a sixteen. That'll hit. So, so I look, I look straight into this assistant's eyes, and it says, "Please don't hit me." But, but it's these huge, wet. Did you say red eyeballs? Black eyeballs. It's a red, black it, eyeballs. If you picture like a red poison dart tree frog, mm, as a yeah. thirty-pound, three-foot-tall person. Yes, yes. This this uh, very much triggers me. In the Milfwood Forest, there are many <laughs> different types of animals, and one of those is a certain tree frog, very large, very wet, very slimy, and um, uh, and and they see they they are we known come, to. We can come to an arrangement. No, they're known to just suck the sexual energy out of a person in the Milfwood Forest. We don't like that. And so I, I, I take my, my two fists, my best weapons that I know, and I start just bludgeoning eyeball, eyeball, over and over. Okay. Uh, so you hit. Go ahead and roll your damage, which is a d4 plus 4, I think. It is a 3 plus 4, so, 7. So it takes 7 damage. Okay. <laughs> I would like to throw out, we just need the necromancer alive. Uh, just, uh, that was the only thing on the bounty. I would like to- So the other, I would the other thing I need a, you to I do- I would like to throw out a taunt. Uh, hippity hopperty, your brain will no longer work properly. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank you. I also, because you uh, punched the uh, poisonous tree frog, I need a constitution <gasps> saving throw from you. Uh oh. That's a d20, and then you're gonna add your saving throw for constitution, which for you is plus one. Oh, that's a, oh geez, that's a three. Okay. 
You are poisoned. <laughs> Great. You are poisoned for one minute. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth it. You sure so did beat the hell out of that frog. Yep. Which means that you suddenly feel a little bit woozy, a little bit queasy. Doesn't feel great. You have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks <laughs> for the next minute. Still worth it, you know. It's worth that, it. that 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 the, the the frog is blind, but I also don't like the frog kind. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's 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 well worth being poisoned. It is now going to be Batu's turn. Batu. Batu with the bonus action, is going to cast Shield of Faith on himself, raising his uh, armor class by two for the duration. And with his action, he's going to take the gallbladder and throw it into the cauldron. Uh-oh. ha! I've done it! And it plops into the cauldron, and nothing happens. <laughs> uh, the spell doesn't work. Quacha! Quacha, what is this? Why didn't it work? We did everything right! I don't know! Hold on, let me reread the instructions. <laughs> uh, Krulax, it's your turn. Ah, <laughs> this necromancer <laughs> sucks. But Krulax uh, looks around, he's like, all right, uh, Debra has set everything on fire while Kaizen is standing on the fire. Yes. Uh, let, let me see here. Falamir has pinned our bounty, which must be taken uh, taken in alive, to the flaming boxes. Yep, pinned uh, right here. And then uh, Kaizen <laughs> has pummeled a poisonous frog and gotten herself poisoned. Is it Correct. My, am I summing up the situation correctly? Yeah, that's a good That's a good recap. All right, good. <clears throat> all right. Well, Krulax taking all of this in and knowing we need the bounty alive, the bounty which is now pinned to the flaming boxes, will sure. attempt to rush into, uh, rush up the boxes, grab uh, Batu, and pull him free of the flaming boxes. So okay. that we might get to safety from the flames, get off this hill of boxes, and right. I might take him alive. So kind now of a tackle a attack, I guess. <clears throat> gotcha. You're a bit far away oh, okay. to get there. <laughs> well. Now you can dash and probably get up to it. I'd like to dash. Do I have any? I have an action surge. You could take one additional Ooh, action. Yeah. Can I action so, surge to run even farther? You sure can. Okay. Action surge gives you another uh, action and another move. Sweet. So if you use your first turn to dash, okay, you can get up to him. And then if you use your action surge, you basically have a whole other turn. What do you want to do? Uh, so I don't know what you would call it, grapple. I want to try and. Right. Grab him using my momentum and keep moving and tear him free and, and move and him down the And tackle him down the yeah. hill. Yes. Cool. I'm going to have you make a, a grapple check, which is essentially an attack roll. Okay. Against my a bit trying to not get tackled. Okay. Which is a dexterity saving throw. You got it. Uh, is it at disadvantage by any chance because you are pinned? Um, so I'm not trying to run. I'm just trying to dodge his attack. Like, I can duck, I can bob, I can weave. Um, so I'm not going to impose disadvantage on this one. Oh, God. <clears throat> classic yeah. classic laser corn roll. That's a five. Uh, <laughs> okay. With um, what what at modifier athletics. do I have? Huh? Athletics? Oh. Yeah. Uh, I, do, I have a plus five in athletics. So 10. Great. Your uh, ten does not beat me, <clears throat> okay. So, uh, you go for a you go for a diving tackle. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna say that you end up prone behind him. Sweet. Um, and <laughs> you don't take any damage from falling um, onto the coffin behind you, but uh, you do not get to grapple him. But I will let you. I'll let you stand back up with the rest of your yeah. action. Ah, thwomp. Oh, uh, uh, um. Pretend that looked cooler than it did, and I stand back up. How <laughs> is it that I am the most effective one here when I have the heroes of Zenra? Ugh, I should have just gone with the barkeep. Uh, <laughs> it's now going to be Quacha's turn. Quacha. So sweet. Quacha's going to be like, ouch! Oh no! Well, I guess I'm going to heal myself. And Quacha is going to uh, use Cure Wounds on themselves. 
Disgusting. You should have been poggers on that froggers. Boo. Ooh, watch your heels back up. Ah, so boo. They, they heal themselves, and then they go, okay. And then with the rest of their action, they're going to read the uh, read the ingredients. I don't know why it didn't work. To make the potion pass your lips, alight the cauldron over crypts. Add shell of snail that is of flail, then do not fail to add wormling's tail. Kegs of absinthe added thrice, powdered darkwood for added spice, ten hanged nails from hanged man's hands, and candied hams from distant lands, and finally, to make this strange brew awesome, add the gallbladder of one... Does this say... This says opossum. I thought you said possum. This says opossum. And then Batu uh, is like, I thought, I th are those not the same things? And then Quacha <laughs> says, no, a possum is, it's like different marsupial from an opossum. If, there, if you have the wrong gallbladder, this isn't going to work. Ah, beans. <laughs> Guys, if it makes you feel any better, I didn't know there was a difference between those two things either. Uh, and then, and then Quacha <laughs> is going to be like, um, well, Bye and is gonna just F off and gonna try to run away. You have a um, opportunity attack, if you wish, Kaizen. Uh, on, on, on the frog? On the frog, at disadvantage because you are poisoned. Yeah, I'm still gonna go after him. Yep. This girl is poisoned. <laughs> she's going, and, she's going uh, to poison Quacha, herself further, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, Quacha is going to just jump uh, like a frog, just pretty much directly out and down to, like, here. Mm. Well, okay. seeing that there's two people up here and everything's on fire and I've got a vendetta against frog folk, uh, I'm gonna try to use all the acrobatics that I have and try to jump down to to get this opportunity attack on um, uh, this this disgusting sure. frog. As Is it leaves your fire? range of mo movement, you can try to punch at it. Okay. Yeah, so go ahead and I, make I, an I'm gonna try to roll. Superman punch him out awesome. of out of the air. Attack roll at disadvantage because you're poisoned. Okay. Ooh, it's a <laughs> it's a seven. Seven's <laughs> not gonna hit <clears throat> the frog person as Quacha leaps over and lands on the ground, uh, trying to escape the the wrath <laughs> of these crazy people that have arrived. <laughs> Top of the round, it's our ranger friend's turn. Um, you, your allies are surrounding this would-be necromancer, um, and you have a you have a clear view of the whole action. Hey, you idiots up there! Just go ahead and take care of him. Bring him down here before he gets burnt to a crisp. Uh, meanwhile, I will go ahead and take care of the frog creature. Tonight we eat frog legs. Uh, and I and I knock another arrow, and I uh, I take a shot at at the frog. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Roll an attack. Uh, I love how much Kaizen rolled... hates the frog. <laughs> I hate the frog. Get him. I rolled. Oh, that is a two. Oh, my God. Miss the frog. Man, the frog's not having a good day. No, don't shoot I meant shoot to do me. that. That was, that was just a message. Don't I ever see you again. <laughs> Look, we can work this out. I'm just, I'm just a hired hand, man. I can help. Whatever you people. I don't even like this guy. Guys, Do not maybe you. Stop we already have, have him in control. Um, it's gonna be Deborah's turn. We gotta get this guy out of here. He's gonna burn to death. We're gonna lose our bounty. I'm going to use my warlock ability command to command Batu, and uh, I'm going to give him my one word command, uh, which is uh, catatonic. I want him to just go straight catatonic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, and this is what kind of a saving throw for me. Oh, save is a uh, uh, wisdom. Wisdom save. Cool. Wisdom save. Ooh, I rolled a two. Ooh. <laughs> so he, so even with his, uh, with his, with his plus to saves on that, um, he is just gonna go Neville Longbottom, stiff as a board, fall straight backwards, and he's uh, alone right here. Oh. Uh, has has anyone ever tried to move a catatonic body? All the muscles get super tense, and then they just almost double in weight. Uh, good luck getting that down here. I don't think your physics mm -hmm. is correct. I don't believe tense muscles can actually increase your weight. 
Uh, I, what do I do? Uh, I'm just a dumb dwarf. I'm just a dumb dwarf, but I'm pretty so, sure. <clears throat> so actually, it will follow that command on its next turn. Okay. Is how the spell works. So it it catches the command. It does not save. It's now Kaizen's turn. Have I have I jumped down, or am I still up there? Since uh, you're still since... up next to uh, Batu. Okay, I'm still up there. Um, yeah, you know, I don't have any. I don't think I have any ranged weapons to be able to to hit that frog from from up where I am. Is the frog still uh, around? It's just down. It's at the bottom of the hill. Yeah. It's at the bottom of the hill. I I still want to go after the. I still want to go after the the dumb I... frog. Going after the frog. I wanna I wanna attempt to jump out of the air. Use my acrobatics. Uh, and and um and and. and and straight just hammer punch. Nice. What Go are ahead. you doing? Our bounty is not with the little frog creature. Get the body. Go hey, you're the one who took a shot at him before too, you know? It was a message. Go ahead and make an attack roll against Quacha. Come on. Damn it. Why do I roll like this? Me and Laser Corn are cursed, I swear to God. <laughs> so Quacha goes, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. We can work together. It's a six. <laughs> six is not going to hit. That's, uh, a, that's a fast frog. Slippery, slimy frog. That's right. Guys, I did not realize guys had hated frogs this much. <laughs> I had no idea. This is some backstory that we had come out. This is nice. Yeah. I like it. Um, when this is, is all over, Batu's we're going to have a turn. talk about this. <laughs> Batu is going to spend his turn saying, Ah, I can't be taken alive. There's no way that you'll take me. Why am I... What what's happening? And uh, we'll go catatonic for the turn. This giant pyre of flame. It's command. That's how command works. Yep. But they are prone. Uh, Krulax, it's your turn. Uh, Krulax, you have. Um, well, this is the campfire that has the cauldron in front of it. Uh, looks like it's a bit of a dud of an experiment of Batu's. Wrong gallbladder and all. Mm -hmm. um, and then opposite that, there's a Batu that's catatonic. Okay. I know we need to take him alive, so I want to pick him up and try and get him out of this fire. He's catatonic, so it shouldn't yep. be too much of an issue, right? Do I? Have yeah, it to... shouldn't be. What's your? Let's see what your strength is. Strength is 16. Oh, yeah. You can pick this guy up. He's wafer thin. Awesome. He's a he's a necromancer wannabe now. Even if he used to be someone else before he started pursuing this dream of becoming uh, uh, of re rising as a dead uh, leader, um, he's he's all skin and bones these days. So you got him on nice. your shoulder. Sweet. Uh, cool. I would like to run him out of the flames and back onto safe ground that cannot catch fire. Cool. So you are not entirely off the hill. You're about halfway. Okay. Because you're carrying somebody's body on your shoulder. Right. Makes sense. And you're Is about halfway the down the hill. Now, keep in mind, no. they're also catatonic bodies aren't bendy. They're like right. rigor mortis style. So right. You're, you're, you're essentially little... carrying like a like a gun case over your shoulder. Cool. Um, and you're <laughs> you're skirting around the outside of the burning hands fire, uh, which mostly took up this little section uh, of of the uh, the pile of of cemetery. Awesome. Great. Um, that That's was exactly Kulax's what I want to be. Turn. And uh, I would also like to shout, can you guys try for five seconds just not to kill this guy before we collect the bounty? Thank you. <laughs> uh, Quacha is going to look up and make big puppy dog eyes at Kaizen and say, <laughs> and drop to his knee and drop to their knees and go, please, please let, don't kill me. Please. I just, I just want to, uh, look, I can help you. Help me how? Help me I have, how? I have healing skills. I have the recipe, right? Maybe you want to be a bad guy, huh? Right? You know, he couldn't do it. Maybe y'all want to do it. But like, I can, I can, you know, you look like you get in fights. I can heal you after some fights, maybe, right? Huh? Why are you talking I to the be... meal on wheels over there, Kaizen? We've got our bounty. Stop messing around with the little frog. <sighs> Do I have anything to tie him up with? Do I have, the, do I have something to tie him up with? The frog? Yeah. Rope. Probably. You could just tie the frog's arms together. They're pretty pliable. Yeah, you know. Uh, I bet you have 50 feet of rope. Oh, nope, you don't. You're a monk. You've got like nothing on you. I thought I had like a dungeoneer kit or something. I don't Yeah. One of you's going to have 50 feet of rope. Kaizen, what um, are you doing with the poison and... frog? We've got our bounty over here. 
I know we've got the bounty. I hate these frogs, but you know what's interesting? This particular frog is not taking the lady boner away. The, the way that in the Milfwood Forest, these other frogs, they, they, they would steal our sexual energy, but not this frog. Um, and, and you're right, it does have certain uh, recipes. I, I, I would want to um, just... I, I'm just gonna bludgeon it so that it, it is uh, blacked out. I just want right. to. I just, I just want to. Okay. I, just, I, I yeah. I just want to render him unconscious, but I'm not gonna kill it. Great. I could if I rolled better. I so could. It it was groveling, so it is prone, which means that you would have advantage. Dot dot dot. But you're poisoned, which means you have <laughs> disadvantage. So it's just a straight roll to attack this frog person. Who? Sixteen. Sixteen. Sixteen <laughs> hits. So you hit, you hit Quacha square in the noggin, and we'll say that that knocks Quacha out. Yeah. Quacha is unconscious, breathing, but unconscious, safe away from the fire. Top of the round, Thalamir. Uh, uh, I ride up next to uh, Krulax um, to uh, get the, uh, so I'm still on my horse. So yes. I, 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 I beckon uh, Krulax. Hey, get the body, tie him up to the horse. We are getting out of here as soon as possible with this guy. I'm like, uh, yeah, that's that's a good plan. Finally, we're doing the thing we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> right. Getting this guy Deborah, out of here. your turn. I want to get off the hill. Um, I want to uh, go towards uh, Kaizen's horse or whatever horse I can hop on. And uh, I want to use my mage hand again. I, I Actually, I have a question. Is Batu wearing yes. shoes with laces? Sure. I'm going to use my mage hand after I get on the horse, and I'm going to tie those shoes together in a nice double knot just in case he wants to run. <laughs> Shoelaces have been tied together with the mage hand. Well done. Mm. And you are down the hill. Up with rope, but okay. And you're on, you're on Kaizen's horse. Perfect. Perfect. Now it's Batu's turn. Batu wakes up. Oh, damn it. On Krulax's shoulders and goes, no, no. And uh, I think I'm gonna, because I'm in contact with, with Krulax, let's have some fun, shall we? So I need to make a melee spell attack against you as I'm gonna cast Inflict Wounds. Ah, darn it. Well, I miss, apparently. <laughs> What'd you do, roll a one? I rolled a three. Aha! <laughs> ah, you're rolling like us now. Yeah, Dang. welcome to the one club. That was going to be so one many damage. One of us. So he tries to touch, he tries to touch you, and instead grabs your horn on your helmet. And the horn uh, g gets all of that necromatic energy in it. So now this horn on your helmet is like a dull gray as most of the life that was in the tusk is now uh, inflicted with wounds. Mm, wow. You have to let me go. I have things to do. Shut up, Necromancer. <laughs> Krulax, it's your turn. Uh, Tie him okay. up and cover his mouth. Make sure he not cast any more spells with that mouth of his. That yeah. silver tongue of a Necromancer is dangerous. I'd like to use my movement to uh, get off. Get, you said I was halfway off the boxes. Yep. I'd like to get the rest of the way off the boxes. You got it. And then I'd just like to body slam this necromancer for trying to touch me. I want to body slam him onto the ground. <laughs> Show him Great. what's up. Yeah, give him the yeah, old... Uh... Hit him with a uh, <clears throat> suplex or a stone cold stunner. Yep, uh, exactly. You, uh, none, none are of those you are like wrestling? What wrestling am I doing moves here? From a shoulder what? position. So you're going to roll an unarmed <laughs> strike. Mario, what, what kind of not... attack is this? You're, so you're, you're going like to roll a d20 and you're going to add five. <laughs> Okay. It's a Mari, it's a good old BS. Huh? It's a good old BS. BS. A body slam. A BS. Just a, just a regular body slam. All right. All right. Roll in. <laughs> oh, that's a nineteen. Perfect. Plus whatever. Woo! Yeah. So that's over that's, twenty. That's gonna hit. And because this is an unarmed attack, you just deal whatever your strength is, which is plus four. So he takes four damage. My strength says plus three on the sheet. My strength is oh, a sixteen sorry. plus three. So yeah. it's it's three plus the one regular. Oh, okay. Um because you always deal one, and then you mm. add your strength. Oh, okay, cool. So you're going to deal four bludgeoning. Nice. Body slam uh, Batu to the ground. That's for messing with my helmet. That was Krulax's turn. Quacha is unconscious. Um, how would you like to handle Batu at this point? I think we should tie him uh, up. 
Yes, tie him up, but be sure to put some rope through his mouth. Make sure he cannot speak. <clears throat> That's a good point, Falamir. He's a necromancer. We don't want him summoning anything. I like uh, I like where your head's at. We could always burn his tongue off. All right, that might be overkill now, Debra. <laughs> De Debra, you're at like an 11. I need you to dial it back to like a five, <laughs> please. You've already almost killed us in a fiery blaze. I get that you're, I get that you're very enthusiastic about your new fire abilities, but we don't have to burn everything, all right? <laughs> Take it down so a notch. I will say that this was a pretty successful uh, um, gathering. Mm -hmm. of, of course bounty. it was. You have Falamere Owen here. <laughs> Every example of excellent is in front of you right now. Wait, what did Falamere do? Do not underestimate what I am capable of doing. Yes, so I will say you. that you are able to tie up Batu, mm -hmm. throw him on the back of Falamere's horse, uh, and as the smoke rises from the uh, Gold Baron Graveyard, um, that might attract some attention, but you've mm. captured your quarry. And awesome. I think that that's where we'll end this episode. Aha! Guys, that was great. As that was a lot say, of fun. Come on, huzzah! <laughs> to be continued next time on Tales from Tiberia. Hey everyone, Krulax here. If you noticed that today's animations were highly upgraded from last week, that's because uh, my good friend Pedro did them. You can check out his Patreon down here. Uh, go support the guy, because he's really uh, taking things to the next level. Also, if you missed last week's episode and you're looking for where that is, it's over here on the right. And the link to the full D&D playlist is over here on the left, so you can see all of the episodes. All right, see you next week.